Hi, welcome to RC Kicks. On today's show, we're finally going to be painting the Monster Herbie Beetle. So the paint has arrived. Is it paint? It is, it's the paint. And is it the right colour? Yeah! <laughs> it has arrived. We are very pleased. So, Gav's done a really good job of filling and sanding the sunroof and the join at the front of the car so that it's all ready to go. The primer is on it and we're ready to paint. So we're going to be using, we're going to use a bit of white first of all on top of the primer. Then we've got this racing white for Herbie which is the TS7 paints and we're going to be using that. Then we will put the decals on and do a coat of semi-gloss clear which is TS79 on the top and then you're also going to be doing the black body as well aren't you at the same time yeah i'll try and get both to i'll paint both up at the same time i'm not going to go into as much detail on the black as i did on the herbie i'm not going to delete the front join or the uh, sunroof i'm going to leave that pretty much stock so it'll end up being a box art standard body so yeah so hopefully if the weather holds out we might get this painted today so that's the plan because there's lots to do we've got the drivers to paint we've got to put all the decals on and then we've got to put a final lacquer coat over the whole thing and we've so, got the ball diff as well haven't we? oh yeah and we've got the mip ball diff to install yeah i uh, don't know if we're going to get this all done in this episode but we will try our best all right let's crack on On to the next stage in the Monster Herbie project. So, Gav has been re working really hard on the paint job. Mm. As you can see, it's looking really nice. I'm really pleased with the colour. It looks beautiful. It's taken quite a while, hasn't it? The weather has stopped play, so it's taken a lot longer than expected. Yeah. Um, this is the cream. We've done metallic black, black on this one, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, metallic black. Yep, yeah, and you put the lacquer over the, no, the semi-gloss, haven't you, on top of that Semi-gloss over this one, only because that's what we had. Mm. So put semi-gloss over it. It's still not as shiny as I'd like. So the master plan is we're going to put the decals on the car. Then I'm going to source a lacquer, a car lacquer. And then we're going to lacquer this. And if we're happy with that, whether we decide to put it on this one or not, yeah. I don't know. No, I'm not sure. It's... it's the paint's come out really nicely. It's quite shiny already, isn't it? Yeah. Might polish it well. This this paint is much more smoother and more um, shiny than the uh, metallic black. Yeah. So this is borderline. Looks like it's had a lacquer over it already, even though it hasn't. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't want to risk ruining it. So we'll do this one Try first, one. and then we'll see for that. Yeah. So decals to cut out today. Um, That's kind of next, really. Yeah, we're going to look for a bumper, aren't we, for this one? So yeah. We might find one. Um, Herbie has like a chrome bumper, whereas obviously mm. this has this kind of sort of sports light bumper. So that's going to go onto this car, which is why it's painted the same colour. But we'll try and source a Herbie bumper from yeah, another nice. kit. There's a couple of other Tamiya kits. So I kind of think we might be able to do that. And if luckily we could attach it to this bottom section, um, that yeah. would work. Yeah. There, there is some bits of chrome for the rest of the car, so it would kind of fit in quite well. Yeah, I think that would look nice. Yeah, so I think that's the plan moving forward. Yep. So let's cut some stickers out. Let's go for it. Cool. So the decals are now on, 
they're looking really good. So the Herbie one here, we've put the decals on, we use the hair dryer to get these into all the little nooks and crannies. There's quite a few little bumps um, for these decals on the front and the back, but they were relatively straightforward, weren't they, those yeah, ones? Yeah, didn't take long. Not too bad. Um, and then afterwards, we've put a clear coat of gloss lacquer yeah. on the top, haven't we? Yeah. You did that. Um, so that's really brought out the colour. It's made it nice and shiny and looking really, really good. This one, what have you done to that? Well, we put all the decals on. Um, I originally painted this in uh, semi-gloss but it wasn't enough. So I actually found that I had a clear coat um, TS. So I put that on and it's really um, reacted with the paint nicely. Now you can see all the metallic mm -hmm. and it's darkened it down and given it a bit of a luster. Um, I've got to let them, they're, they're, they're dry, but only just. So the plan is to leave them overnight and then I'm gonna wax and polish them up to get them yeah. to really shine. Yeah, the colours come out really nicely yeah. on that one, now you put that top yeah. coat on. it looks much deeper, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really good. Um, then we can just put all the furniture on, really. Um, got yeah. the chrome to go on, the chrome mirrors to go on. Yeah. The uh, glass needs to go in. Yeah, um, how does that attach? Just, this just few stick it screws in. underneath. Okay. Yeah, it's free, a few screws, pretty straightforward stuff. Yeah, we've got the drivers, haven't we? We need to do those. Yeah, we haven't even started the drivers yet, mm. so we've got to paint those up. So that'll be fun. So we'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, still got to put the ball diff in and got to fix the front suspension because it's not working very well. Yeah, and I'm still not sure about these wheels. I don't know. Yeah, we're still unsure about the wheels. The plan is to paint these front wheels the same cream colour mm. and then uh, paint out the centre section black but we can't find rear wheels to match. Um, also, these tires at the front don't really go, it, it, they need to be kind of like a road tire. Mm. So we need a big balloon road tire, which is a bit difficult to find. So we'll have to keep looking for that because we want it to kind of reflect Herbie yeah. um, more. So, uh, you know, it's an ongoing process, but yeah. the painting's finally done and we keep going forward. Yeah. Cool. Nearly okay. there. Nearly there, yeah, finally. we're nearly there I think we've pretty much done the bodies haven't we we mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't like the painting you're better at it anyway I don't mind doing it but it does take a lot of time it takes loads of time yeah, seems and seems loads of patience doesn't uh, it yeah. yeah and things always go wrong <laughs> I don't think they're supposed to I just think it does <laughs> I think that says more about my painting than anything but hey there we go they did that really well though didn't they yeah they did so well. all the stickers are on they they put the lacquer on the top didn't you yeah we did that all the lacquering was done from the last one all the little bits and pieces are on so we've got the wing mirrors we've got the lights the back lights yeah, number all, plates we've got it all haven't we yeah all the peripherals are done so they're pretty much finished yeah so we've got uh, running video we're going to do. Yeah. And the ball diff. And the ball diff, finally. finally yes. Then we will fit a ball diff in this car. As, as we keep saying. We, as we keep saying on every single slot. <laughs> um, and the drivers. I didn't mention the drivers. Drivers are in. Yep. Painted those up. Painting two drivers. That took a while. So, yeah. But they can turned out okay. I'm no brilliant painter, but they came out reasonably well. So I'm happy with them. Right. Let's put a ball diff in the car. Yay! So the MIP ball diff is in. Didn't take very long, it no. took about half an hour. So now we're going to take it for a spin. Let's see what difference it makes.
So there you go, a great project, really fun, but it did drag on a bit due to things like postage and I had some new hardware for the studio turn up. So hopefully you didn't notice, but there's different bits and pieces to do with audio and things like that, but I tried to blend it out so you didn't notice it. Great project, really love the cars, they were fantastic, just took a long time because painting up two bodies simultaneously takes quite a while and it rained constantly in yeah. England yeah. so that I'm, I'm really pleased with how they've turned out though yeah they're they cool, look really they? good yeah, that's yeah. right head over to Facebook RC Kicks group there's lots of people chatting and things like that if you'd like some RC Kicks stickers we've got those as well don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell because there's more content coming shortly thanks very much bye bye